All right, guys, so on my 83 Toyota pickup, the uh, steering wheel column cover is what we're looking at. And I have three or four of these little mounts inside there that broke. So the screws, I would try to screw it in there, and they just fall out, basically, with vibration going down the road, whatever. So this is what I came up with to uh, fix them. Oh, the first thing we want to do, we want to find another cylindrical item that has about the same outside diameter as the ones you're trying to fix. That was actually a little tube I had from a grease gun. It was a little add-on for it I never used. But you're going to take that and wrap it up in some wire. It's uh, What I was using was picture frame hanging wire. And what we're shooting for is like a kind of like a mold that'll fit right around that plastic uh, mount. So then just take some wire clippers and trim off the excess. You see that's what you're left with. And you want to wrap it, make it kind of the same length as the piece that's broken off. Then you can put it on there, try it out, and kind of judge where you need to trim it off to have it the same height, you know, where it'll be level with the top of the plastic mount. You don't want it sticking way up over it. And just, you know, go back and forth until you get it, get it where you need it. You can see right here fits pretty well all right so then we're gonna take the uh, the little spring the mold that we made take some electrical tape and wrap it up just wrap it all the way around you want to get a nice seal around the bottom because <clears throat> when you go to uh, put whatever you have you know epoxy gorilla glue is what I used Whenever you go to put that in there, you don't want it, you know, coming out the bottom. So make sure the electrical tape seals off real well around the bottom and the sides. And that's what I had. And you you need something to put, uh, to hold the place of the screw hole so it doesn't get filled up with the glue or whatever you use. And this is just some heat shrink wrap that I had. And it worked out really well. You can get it in different sizes. You see it fits just perfectly right in there. It'll keep the Gorilla Glue from sealing up the screw hole. So put that down in there. And you can go ahead and trim it off or you can do it later. Whatever. Alright, so the next step, we're just going to take your Gorilla Glue, whatever you're using. Squirt it down in there in the little mold you made and dab it in there with a, like a q-tip or a toothpick or something and you should be left with something like that all you have to do is wait for it to dry you see that Gorilla Glue it expands a pretty good bit but uh, you go take your electrical tape off <clears throat> and I, I didn't wait for the Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue to cure 100% so it kind of popped off there pretty easy. Which is probably the best thing to do if it was fully cured. I'd probably have a really hard time with it. So to get that excess off, I just took a little razor blade and cut it off. Came off pretty easy. And this was the finished product. Worked out pretty well, especially for the first time. I mean, it's not beautiful, but it gets the job done. And no one will ever see it. But uh, try it out. See if it works. Thanks for watching.